How you guys doing? I'm CryptoCop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a trailing stop loss in Thinkorswim Mobile. Check it out. Real quick before we get started, if you haven't yet, hit the like and subscribe button and join the Discord. I'm telling you guys, we've been doing really good with our calls. Uh, we're at like 100% accuracy this week. It's insane. Join the Discord. You're not going to regret it. All right, let's get into it. There's a cat running around his office too. Might be jumping up on me here in a minute. But anyways, all right, let's start. So at the bottom, in Think or Swim, you go to your positions. And then you select your current open position that you want to set a trailing stop loss for. So in this case, we'll go to Apple. So I'm going to open up Apple here, and then you're going to see that checkbox. Click on that checkbox, and then you want to select Close Selected. All right. Now it's going to bring up a page that looks like this. Now you want to change the limit to Trail Stop. So just hit the right or left arrows until you get there. Now there it is, Trail Stop. So right below that is your quantity. Set the quantity. Uh, that you want to set the trailing stop loss for and just below that is it says mark and under that is there's a plus minus sign and if you select that it'll bring up an option to where you can either select the trailing stop loss to go by actual dollars percent or increments I like to use percent so I'm gonna select percent now let's say I want my trailing stop loss to be 20% I'll hit the up, I'm sorry, the down arrow until we get to 20% because it's 20% less than the current price. There we are, 20%. Now, all you have to do at this point is hit review and then send. And the order was sent. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep your stop loss 20% less than the current stock price. However, as the stock rises, so will your stop loss, but if the stock comes back down, your stop loss won't move. So if the stock price starts coming down and down and down, it's eventually gonna hit that increased stop loss that you created. So now let's say you wanna create a trailing stop loss as you're purchasing your option. So what you would do is in your order editor, scroll down click on create advanced order click on add order click on it again to edit it and then here we are and it's pretty much from this point the exact same as before switch limit to trail stop and then you can select whether you want it to be amount percent or increment which i said i like percent but it's personal preference that's what you guys want and then we'll make it 10%. Okay, and then you hit back the group button at the top left. And then review. And then send. And send it through, and you're done. It's that simple, guys. I'm going to be creating a lot more little mini videos like this with small tutorials that you guys can watch over time. And I think that way it'll be easier to grasp a little bit at a time, and then you'll remember it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.